This is my current <laughs> grab space situation. Oh dear God. Okay, here's the situation. My parents went away for a week's vacation and they lost the keys to the brand new port. I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably do that after I'm done filming this. So, this space has gone through just a multitude of changes. When we first moved in, there were um, countertops and cabinets lining the edge. And we used to store all of our extra kitchen gadgets back here and it just sort of ended up being this place where we just put our crap. Ugh. Come in. And it has since gone through And it has since gone through multiple incarnations. It was going to be a dining space. It was going to be my office. It was my office for a point. But the internet signal back here is terrible. So I moved the computer out to the living room. And being that one of my intentions for this year is to actually commit to being an artist and turning it into a sustainable business, I need a workspace. And since Adrian has his lovely workshop that he has built in the backyard for himself, I decided to make this <laughs> lovely little corner my crafting space. And to do that is going to take some time. But I am committed because I am committed to myself this year. I am committed to my intentions this year and my goals this year. And I just want this to be a beautiful, inspiring space for me to create beautiful, magical things. So, let's get started. Okay, before I do literally anything, I need to drink this entire cup of water because your girl is dehydrated. Now that I've got at least this spot cleared, I'm not worried about that yet. So we only put this bookshelf back here recently to make space for my desk in the living room, um, but now I need it for craft supplies. So I'm going to take off pretty much all the books, except those which inspire my creativity, and then I will have some space to put all this crap. Keeping the Outlander books because I still have myself convinced that I'm going to read them someday. Let me see that zip zip. <laughs> I am an alien. I'm, a, I'm an alien who's who's cleaning. Anyone from the Bay Area remember Marine World, Africa, USA? If you know what this is, you're pretty cool. Paper bags are a clutter bug's best friend. Empty. Now, obviously, 
I still have to get the rest of these books into some boxes and clear up space on the shelf. The next step is going to be um, sorting through all this nonsense. I'm not gonna make you watch that. Hi, Ruby. Hey, Zip Zap. Yeah. Got it? Two hands, watch, 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 You have to watch what you're doing. I'm watching a little Always Believe with Ash and Brian. Check them out on the YouTubes. They are just... They're just delightful and adorable, and I love them. So, I got dressed, sort of, if you can call leggings being dressed, leggings and slippers, <laughs> um, in hopes that my brain would work a little better. I'm having a hard time with this. So, even though I kind of know how I want it to look, I have to consider all the things that I am going to be doing and making back here. Obviously, I need shelf space for my supplies, I also want a space for my calendar, and I want to do shelves on the wall, but I have to consider as well my wings. I definitely, I'm going to get back into making wings again, so I need a place to hang those. I could do it up here, over this window. If I just do shelves over here, I could put my cap, you know what, I don't, I'm going to have to sketch this out, I think. <laughs> Job. You're making me some shelves. Oh, shelves? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's no way that I can just accept these. <laughs> I'd like to have some pretty frilly shelf bracket. This is what we got, but just to make them a little prettier, I'm gonna spray paint them. So, um, in true Adrian fashion, my husband decided that um, these shelf brackets probably weren't gonna be cute enough for me, so he decided to take it upon himself and make actual like a full wooden shelf he he cut sanded and is drilling the wooden brackets to make an extra cute shelf um he, he does he does this a lot he decides that that something should be cuter something could be more artistic and then ends up spending the rest of the day making said project so he's outside making those for me right now. I love them, but I do just want to put my shelf up. <laughs> Fish. 
have shoes. Oh, they're so cute. Thank you. You're welcome. So today is day four, day four, I, I don't really know, but it's been some days and I am hard and determined to finish, ooh, my coffee, hold on, okay, Adrian took Rowan to the park, so I've got some time and I am dead set on finishing the craft room today. Adrian put up some adorable shelves yesterday and Oh my god, it already feels like my space. I, 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 I just want to start making stuff already, but I still need to get a few other things in there and I want to decorate it a little bit and make it just a super inspiring, magical place for me to make magical things. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is paint the shelves. I know they're already attached to the walls, so that's going to be a little tricky, but I can do it. I really wanted to paint them, but he really wanted to get them on the wall. So, compromise. I can paint them while they're on the wall. It'll be fine. So I'm gonna go pick out some paint and take you in the shed with me. And I'm gonna pick out some paint. And then we're just, my dog's whining at the back door. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this done today. I'm super excited. Luna. Hi, puppy. <laughs> so, there wasn't a lot to choose from. I know we have more paint elsewhere, but I don't feel like looking. It's a lovely color. It's very happy. It's very cheerful. It's bright. Oh, Luna's found a squirrel. She's not gonna get it, she never gets it. Oh, Luna, you missed your chance. Okay, what do we think? Now I'm kind of torn. Should they be this color or should they just be white? Actually, I think I might just mix the two together and make a paler version of this. There's not a whole lot of white. Anyway, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. different colors. about to use these things 
to hang up here to put wings. And then Adrian comes through with this. That's what I'm talking about. things, drilling things, painting things. The basic structure of everything is laid and in place and my child is calling me from the bathroom. So, <laughs> so as I said, oh, I don't want to take my hood off. I will. I'm a mess. As I said, I'm done hanging hooks and shelves and painting and stuff like that. Now it's just uh, time for cleanup and to put everything in here and make it beautiful. Mama? Yes. Time to get your nails painted. Okay. It's time to get my nails painted. Mama? Yeah. But seeing how it is very difficult to show the Hi. whole process. Hi. <laughs> Seeing as how it's very difficult to show you the whole process of putting all the stuff in here without just spoiling the reveal, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead.
I don't know if you guys understand how special this little space is to me. Every time I walk by it these past few days, it's just my heart, my heart gets so happy to have this beautiful space where I can create and I'm so glad I took the time to really do it properly, to clean the stuff out of it, to sort through it, to organize it and put it together in a way that just, I feel inspired. I feel so inspired to create, so inspired to do. I am currently wearing one of my flower crowns right now. I need this. I made this like two years ago. <laughs> I, I'm so glad I took the time to do this. It was definitely a process, even though this is a very tiny space. I'm not done. I do want to put some, probably put some hooks over here on the wall so I can hang crowns and things as I start making them. Um, I might put in, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna put in. We'll see how it goes. Once I start actually creating things, we'll see what kind of storage options I need. But for now, this was just, this was an act of self-love and an act of self-care. If there's, if there's something that you are really wanting to do in your life, a project or a practice that brings you joy, if you're trying to start something, start a business, start a hobby, start learning guitar, I don't know, start painting. I think the first thing that you can do as a way to make that commitment to yourself and a way to set yourself up for success is create space for it. If you wanna to commit to a meditation practice, create a beautiful space or corner in your home so that you can do that, you have a place to go. If you wanna to commit to eating better, set up your house. Set up your house so it's so much easier. Get rid of all the junk, bring in the good. Start meal prepping, clean out your fridge. If you're starting a podcast, create your little podcast studio. Whatever it is you're trying to do or trying to incorporate into your life or whatever it is you're trying to commit to, make space for it. Not only will it make it easier for you to actually commit to the thing, it will actually send a message to the universe saying, yes, I am ready to do this. Make it a space that inspires you. A space that you feel comfortable and cozy in. Unless it's like a workout space and you're probably not gonna get very cozy, but make it awesome. Make your workout space super duper motivating. Put motivational quotes all over the wall. Maybe put a nice mirror so you can check your form. S create space for what you want to bring about in your life. Anyway, I am so excited to get making again. My heart needs it. And I can't wait to share with you what I'm gonna be making. Do some craft along videos and just share this, <sighs> this beautiful chapter I'm committing to. Anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening while well, watching. I guess most of this was watching. I love you so very much. Have a wonderful, magical day. <sighs> I love all you magical misfits. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>